Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest news, trends, and innovations from thought leaders like this guy to my right in the world of digital infrastructure. Um, and this guy to my right is Jacob Wolf. Jacob is the uh, uh, global key account manager for Armstrong Fluid Technology. Jacob, did I get it all right? You did. Um, yes. Outstanding. Okay, so how's the show going for you? It's uh, it's amazing. I've, I've been in the industry my entire career, and, and I haven't seen the show on this regional basis. It's at this busy. It's it's completely a renaissance. I mean, I, it, it is a renaissance. You're the first person to characterize it that way. Yeah. I could not agree more. It's like I, the ethanol industry in 2005. <laughs> yeah, exactly. so my heat exchanger knowledge. No, that's that's fantastic. I mean, I, yeah, it's it's very crowded, very busy. Yeah. Lots of things getting done here. Um, and speaking of which, let's talk about Armstrong Fluid Technology. What do you get done? So we uh, we're a little unique, and 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 there's other firms out there that, mm -hmm. that do this. But what I really appreciate working here is we we manufacture everything to a component like a, a, a smart pump mm -hmm. to uh, controls and optimization of a system, and then we can man manufacture a, a, a custom CDU, a standard CDU, or a really a, a, a chilled water uh, modular chiller plant. And and so we our data center customers like the fact that we have all that experience because uh -huh. then we're able to help resolve issues and it, it it's really nice to be able to, to be able to do that and support yeah that. no it, it probably it probably helps to to know that uh you are capable of just doing kind of the core competency but you're actually bringing uh, a, a lot of experience and understanding and know-how to that competency to help yeah. them along the way yeah um and speaking of a new solution yes for you guys let's talk about it so we uh <laughs> And, and you're probably not the first one, or I'm probably not the first one to say this. We, we have uh, designed a CDUM or a coolant distribution unit module. Uh -huh. um, our expertise is is a little different than than maybe traditional. We we are a little bit more uh, custom. We provide controls. Uh, we have some patents on the heat exchanger uh -huh. and, and how they work. Um, so we're we're kind of bringing something a little different to the market, mm -hmm. but um, um, but we're really happy with it. It goes along very well with our, our modular chiller plants or heat pump package, even though that's not data centers, mm -hmm. heat pump uh, plants. So uh, so we're really excited about that. And uh, we launched it at uh, ASHRAE and uh, at AHR, and uh, we'll be taking it around. So I love it. Congratulations on that. Yeah, thank you. Uh, but uh, I'm going to get to the, the thing I wanted to talk to you most about, yes. and that is energy and sustainability. Um, yes. We The reason, and you tell me, the reason why you need to offer this is because of energy and sustainability. <laughs> yeah, it's it's necessary. Why don't you talk to us a little bit about that that core message of energy and sustainability uh, for uh, for I'm sure. sure. I'm very passionate about sustainability, uh, especially I, I come from the a market of refrigeration as well. Mm -hmm. So working with like CO2, ammonia, natural refrigerants, and I'm a huge fan of that. So okay. uh, you know, we try to work with with the data centers to to help reduce their scope three emissions. So one way would be to you know, a traditional base mount pump with the drive on the wall. You know, our, our take is just have an integrated drive on the pump and then put it in the pump in a vertical inline. Then you take away the base, the isolation. You take away all that, no no mount for the, the, uh, for the drive on the wall. Mm -hmm. That would be on more of a component level. On a system level, like where you have a, a, a modular chiller plant, you're reducing the amount of freight going to uh, there, and I even, you know, even here, one of the, uh, even one of the discussions they talked about, you know, freight's an issue because I mean they got so many trucks going into these massive data centers. Yeah, I mean it's hard to like to manage it all. You and know, so it, it, it simplifies it, and, and and I do believe that you know from a carbon standpoint, that's yeah. it's also attractive. Uh, we're looking at uh, also, also green materials as well, mm -hmm. so uh, green steel. Looking at procuring. Uh, materials that you normally wouldn't think from renewable sources uh -huh. that are being uh, uh, manufactured with yeah. renewable sources. And uh, yeah, so th those are some of the things. Optimization, we're always yeah. in optimization. That's, what, that's I, what, I, I what I really love about the message here is that it all counts. Yeah, It all counts. Uh, when we're talking about supply chain and we're talking about truck rolls and we're talking about lighting within the data center, yeah. every little bit counts. Yeah. And and that's what makes the the ecosystem number one. It's it's why it's growing uh, right. as as fast and with innovators like yourselves um, in the industry um, increasingly. It's because it all counts. 
and you see this push toward electrification in other markets. Yeah. You know, we do a lot with district energy and, you know, even the regular HVAC market, embedded carbon is going to be huge. Yeah. And, and you know, being part of MEP 2030, being, uh, you know, we're, we're in a lot of the USG, I'm going to say it wrong. I'm lead certified. I should know it. But uh, we're in a lot of the associations, but, but yeah. having EPDs, having oh, TM65s, we, we're on the board for AHRF for TM65. That's going to become more and more and, and, and all of data centers, HVC, everything. So. I believe it. I believe it. Jacob, thanks for your time today. Thank you. You bet. You bet. Appreciate and it. Thank you, viewers, for watching JSA TV. We'll see you very soon.